नमस्कार आई एम नरेश कुमार साइंटिस्ट इन इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट न्यू दिल्ली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पास्ट वीक वेदर एंड फोरकास्ट फॉर नेक्स्ट टू वीक इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द पास्ट वीक हियर वी हैव फॉर द नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया देर वॉज अ वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंस एंड विच हैज कॉज सम लाइट वेदर ओवर स्पेसिफिकली ओवर वेस्टर्न हिमालय रीजन and uh, another part there was a cyclonic circulations trough over northeastern state adjoining east india which has caused some significant weather over the regions and over south peninsular india also there was a trough and cyclonic circulations which has caused weather along the west coast also and south peninsular india also so this is a figure about uh, heavy rainfall received during past week have you been more than 6.5 cm so majorly the rainfall occurs over northeast india and some himalayan west bengal sikkim where we have received heavy very heavy fall during most days of the week along the west coast also we have experienced heavy rainfall specifically konkan goa 5 to 6 days kerala for 3 days coastal karnataka for 4 days and other parts also madhya maharashtra also we have received heavy rain for for few days so this is a, if you talk about the rainfall this is a week past week that is 13 to 19 of june and this is a, another figure is a cumulative rainfall for for 1st june to 19 june if you talk about uh, northwest central or uh, even south peninsular india as a whole we have not received any significant rainfall during the week and major rainfall occurs was over eastern northeast india where if you talk about the actual rainfall is occurred which is the 99. 7 mm against it's a normal rainfall over 80.6 except other parts we have not received any rainfall significant rainfall only if you talk about south peninsular india majorly rainfall occurs over the tamil nadu royal seema and uh, you can say north interior karnataka it was near normal and uh, maratwada that was the near normal during the past week if you consider the cumulative rainfall from 1st june to 19 june here Uh, almost uh, east and northeast india south peninsular india are received near normal rainfall and uh, if you see the subdivision wise uh, around about uh, that is uh, six subdivisions received uh, above normal rainfall in the south peninsular india and far east northeast india assam meghalaya and sub himalayan west bengal sikkim received above normal rainfall activity if you see the northwest india central india here you can see there is a color blue color uh, sorry yellow color and red color that is all showing rainfall activity was the below normal so uh, due to uh, no weather activity over north west central even east india during the past week and under uh, another favorable meteorological conditions so there was a heat wave to severe heat wave occurs over entire north northern part of the country you can see here even western himalaya region also experienced 6 to 7 days heat wave days and other days if you talk about punjab haryana uttar pradesh then bihar then jharkhand they have experienced heat wave to severe heat wave almost all days of the week for that one we have issued special advisory special red color alerts for these states and uh, given the special advisory people should but precautions people should take as per the ndma guidelines so uh if you not come out uh, today's a system there is again now as compared to yesterday's temperatures has reduced over northwest india due to the western disturbance which is uh, now seen as a cyclonic circulation over that is jammu jammu and kashmir and there is a new cyclonic circulation over north haryana another is over south pakistan and there is another circulations over uh, bihar then north eastern states under this scenario these are the favorable conditions for the rainfall activity over north west india so we may experience light moderate rainfall for few days over north west india and specifically the major rainfall patch will be over north eastern state and west coast so what we are expecting 
for the uh, widespread rainfall activity with heavy to very heavy fall mean more than 12 cm over northeastern state and sub himalayan west bengal sikkim for many days of the week even most days of the week we can say and scattered to fairly widespread rainfall uh, with light moderate uh, intensity over east india during most days of the week and under favorable meteorological conditions uh, we are expecting there should be a heavy to very heavy rainfall over west coast specifically if you talk about the konkan goa coastal karnataka kerala and south interior karnataka even we are expecting heavy to very heavy rain for tamil nadu also during most days of the week and along with that we are expecting extremely heavy rainfall more than 20 cm over coastal karnataka on two days 22nd 23rd then konkan goa kerala south interior karnataka on 23rd and uh, if you talk about the week 2 which is from 27 june to 3 july rainfall activity will increase over most part of the country you can see here the figures almost entire country except part of uh, rajasthan you can see green color it's mean rainfall activity is likely to occur over the entire country except some part of rajasthan if you see the anomaly here rainfall is likely to be normal to above normal over most part of the country except part of western himalaya region uh, rajasthan and you can say is temp mp during week 2 so considering all this uh, this is a monsoon advance here till today monsoon has covered over almost entire south peninsular india northeastern state and some part of uh, east india so what we are expecting due to the likely weather activity monsoon may covers some more part of gujarat south um mp some more part of chatisgarh then odisha jharkhand bihar gwv gangtok west bengal and it may further advance over uttar pradesh also during the week and some parts of the western himalaya region specifically uttarakhand during week 1 as and during the week 2 as we are expecting rainfall activity due to the monsoon current likely over most part of the country so it is likely to cover remaining part of the central india which will left during week 1 and most part of the remaining part of northwest india for the week 2 so this is a, a last slide considering as now rainfall activity has started over the country and so what was the prevailing heat wave conditions over specifically north india so we are that has reduced significantly and we are not expecting any significant heat wave during for week 1 except part of uttar pradesh where we may experience heat wave during some days of the week and if you talk week 2 so as we are expecting weather activity over the most part of the country so we are not expecting any heat wave over any part of the country during week 2 thank you very much for the listening